I hope we really do go all in. I feel you, Micah. <laughs> Good people, it's your boy, Mr. Rome, Cowboys fan talk, right back, like I never left. What's up with y'all, man? How y'all feeling today? Hey, man, I appreciate all the people that's been rocking with me. I really want to say that, man. All the cartel, all the real people that's been rocking with me, because look, a lot of people don't want to hear Cowboys right now. You can look at the numbers, you can see across the board, a lot of people just don't want to talk or hear Cowboys right now. And if you keep coming back every day, I appreciate you. We in this together. We're going to get through this, though. I know it's a rough time. I know it's annoying. I know it's frustrating. But, like, beyond all the trolling and the clowning and the talking, man, one day at a time. So I appreciate you. I appreciate CFT appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? Um, seriously. Micah. Micah Parsons, man. Listen, a lot of news for the Cowboys has been coming out the last couple of days. Now, probably stuff we don't want to hear. Um some stuff we do want to hear, um, some things we, we we hope come to you know fruition or come true. And then you got the news of Dan Quinn that just kind of looms over the organization. We still just kind of waiting. Like, what's going to happen with Dan Quinn? Although, at this point, I'm going to just put my prediction out there, and I know I've been saying this. You know, it kind of seemed like he was going, then it seemed like he was leaving. And then I just heard something about 10 minutes ago that really made me be like, oh, he leaving. He leaving. A couple people let me know some things, and I don't got no real, I don't got no insider information. Not myself. CFT ain't that cool yet. But um, some things came across a couple days ago saying I think Dan Quinn is leaving. This thing I just seen put the stamp on that. So we'll have something to talk about because we got to figure out who our new defensive coordinator is coming soon. But Michael Parsons is right, man. Chess want to win. Chess want to win, man. Want to be greater. Want to be better. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not going to go. You can go watch The uh, the Edge. Shout out to Michael Parsons in his podcast if you want a more in-depth breakdown of what he said and what he you know what he was saying. And one thing that he really stuck out, stuck out to me about what Michael said, just to say this, he said, we got out schemed out. You know what? Let me just let you hear it. We were just outperformed, out schemed, however you want to put it. Like they had an answer for everything. And people saying, well, why ain't you go to – Linebacker, because, you know, they said you could stop the run. Well, guess what? The packages are in for me to go to linebacker. There's multiple packages, multiple variations. But I can only play what it's called. Whatever they're calling, whoever personnel they're putting on, I'm not putting out personnel. I'm not putting out uh, the calls. There, nothing's coming from me. So you could put that and sh put that wherever you want to be or wherever you want to put it, but they're not coming from me. The packages are in. I've even told... Multiple players, coaches that I'm very fine playing linebacker and playoffs if that's what y'all want me to do. I just want to win. And you can ask any coach, ask any player that. It's a God honest truth. Um, because obviously this is not where I want to be sitting right now speaking to you, talking about what we're doing at the Pro Bowl. And that's just the reality of it. Um, I do see a Super Bowl in my future. I want to be a Super Bowl champion. And it's very upsetting that I'm even here, happening to even speak to y'all and trying to say if I really care about the game and if I'm showing up in playoffs, I challenge anyone to actually go look at the game film and say, did Micah play his heart out in that game and what more could I have done? You know, and, you know, it, it's sad, man, that you lose the way you do, especially at home, talking about how much we played at home, uh, how much it stood for us to be at home and to go out like that at home was completely embarrassing. It's as simple as that. We was bad across the board. I don't know quite what people want. We got out schemed, out coached, out played across the board. And for everybody that's been, another thing he says in the interview, for everybody that, that, that says, you know, what was Dak Prescott supposed to do? Micah Parsons himself said, we gave up 40 points. Now see, the Dak hater will say, well, he threw a pick six. He did. That's seven. So that's 41 points that was given up. Well, he threw a, a, a pass within the 14 yard line. That, does that mean you automatically supposed to score? Ask the Kansas City Chiefs defense when they stripped Zay Flowers before he scored last week. Just because you close to the goal line don't mean it's a touchdown. It don't mean you have to score. 
a point, let alone a field goal. That could have been 10 points instead of 14. Or it could have just been seven. Micah's right. Dak played a big part in that loss too. Two, in addition to, not only because of, but everybody want to just put it on Dak because it's the lazy, easy thing to do. And I got to give Micah credit, accountability, taking ownership. You can't fix nothing if you don't own it. We got outplayed, out schemed, out everything. Own it. Then you look at yourself and you look at your mans and you look at your teammates or whatever you so what are we going to do so this don't happen again? And then that's when you come into the all-in thing. Jerry Jones. Stephen Jones said, you know, y'all got a right to... I, I should do a whole video on that. Y'all got a right to not believe in us. Rightfully so. And he's talking to us. He's not talking to the media, nobody. He's talking to us. Y'all shouldn't believe in us. And we shouldn't believe in them. I know I'm delusional. D-A-L delusional. Dallas delusional. I know. But I still believe, I still want to believe, I still pray this thing comes together and we get something special one day. But presently, after that ass whooping, nah, we're going to just have to be humble. But when Micah says, I hope they go all in too to go get the players that we was missing. That's him. That's one of your best players. Talent-wise, your best player talking directly to your front office. Go get the players we were missing. As a football savant, as somebody that loves the game, Micah knows we were just missing pieces. And you can't affect injuries. So you make sure your depth is proper. So if a corner goes down, you have great corners behind him. Continue to coach them guys up because you never know. You one play away from being on that field. Make sure that O-line depth is. Make sure all the depth is good. And linebackers, we should have had a better plan. I got to say, linebacker goes down, you go a week or two. Before us to just settle in. And just say, Marquise Bell, you're a linebacker now. J. Ron Kirsch, you're going to play linebacker more than safety. Damone Clark, you've been struggling, but we're not going to put nobody else out there. To bring in Evans and not even give him a real legitimate shot. To not try and get nobody. There, there were other linebackers on the street. I would have been cycling through them. Oh, nope, not you, not you. It should have been a story, a well-written story. Dallas is bringing in every linebacker they can find trying to steal linebackers off practice squads. See, if you had a real GM and devoted scouts or GMs that would listen to your scouts, you would know, hey, it's a practice squad linebacker over here we can steal. He might can get on the field. Like, we should have been doing something. But that's just linebacker. Running back is the same way. We should have went and got Derrick Henry. And I know everybody's like, Derrick Henry's not going to fix everything. Derrick Henry would have helped us win another two games, Period. We would have won the Miami game because he would have scored on the goal line. That's a fact. So we would just have more points in Miami. That last play wouldn't have mattered. We did win the Detroit game, but it wouldn't have been no debacle at the end because we would have ran the clock out with Derrick Henry. There have been no People would have been looking at us like, well, Dallas beat Detroit handily, and Detroit took San Francisco to the woodshed before they came back on them. So is Dallas in the same We'd have been in the same breath. Instead, you got the debacle at the end that makes people think the Detroit win was a loss. And then you got the way we lost to Green Bay. You got the way you watched Detroit play. And you're like, ah. Dallas is like the fifth or sixth best team in the conference, seventh. And we made that bed. We got to lay in it. Go get the play. D tackle. I know we want it. Look, I ain't nobody want Mozzie to look be better than me. Oh, the concept of Mozzie was right. Run, stop, and D-tackle. The execution and what he became, it wasn't. And then when he wasn't good, you should have, I got to do something. That's what all in means. When what you did, it's not that every move works. It don't. It won't. Contingency plans. Continue to work. Grind. That I will give that to the Eagles' Howie Roseman. He makes mistakes all the time. He just be like, well, D tackle ain't working. I'm gonna get another one. Safety ain't working. I'm gonna get another one. I'm gonna just keep trying. I don't care. I'm 15 running backs. I don't care. Like, you know what I'm saying? These offensive coordinators, defensive coordinators didn't work. I'm gonna go get some other ones. Now, I can't say they're gonna be good because we Kellen Moore is Kellen Moore. 
but he's trying and I'll give him credit for that. All hate to the side. We need to see effort from the Jones family. I don't want you to say, well, we all in. I don't care about the words. No, show me. And just signing Derrick Henry ain't enough. This roster got holes. And like Micah said, I just want to see him go fill them. I do too, Micah. So salute to Micah Parsons, man. I am with him 100%. We just want to see some effort. We want to see some all in in action through the rest of the year. Not just, we signed two free agents. Y'all happy now? Nope. We drafted well. Y'all happy now? Nope. We signed somebody that got cut by another team to improve the roster? Nope. During the year, we need one more piece. Like San Francisco went to get Chase Young, even though Chase Young been playing trash. But they went to get Randy Gregory and Chase Young. Constant, constant, constant. Working all in. I want to see it. Y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comments, man. I just want to see this team put in some effort. Effort will make me tap back in, make me lock back in, make me believe. But until y'all really show that, y'all ain't all in.